In this video, we're fixing oil leaks on a 3306 mechanical fuel pump. The engine is a Caterpillar 3306, and this is a pretty common oil leak for these types of fuel pumps. Here we have an oil pump. You can get a better idea on where the solenoid is mounted. The oil leak is coming out of the gasket between the pump housing and the solenoid itself. So we're going to replace the gasket. As I said before, they're a pretty common leak and they're also an easy fix. So let's have a look at how to replace one. First thing we need to do is clean up around the back of the pump. When we pull the fuel solenoid out, we're going to expose the internals of the pump so we don't want any dirt falling in there. I don't have a pressure cleaner on hand, but a wire brush and brake cleaner will do just fine. The pump is held on by two quarter inch bolts with a 7 16 head. There's one bolt at the top and one bolt at the bottom. The two wires that are mounted to the side of the solenoid I'm leaving attached because there's enough slack in the harness to move the solenoid out and complete this job without disconnecting them. Once the bolts are loose, it should just come right out. There's nothing you need to worry about, such as springs or anything that can fall out while you're doing this. And the pin of the solenoid is usually long enough to hold on to the gasket for you. This is the gasket. You don't want to reuse them or try and put sealant on them. Just throw them away. They're cheap enough to buy a new one from Caterpillar. The sealing ring of these gaskets is a V-shaped style and if you damage it at all and put a slight depression in them, they'll leak on you. And that's probably what happened with this one. It can be hard to see where they've been damaged. Anyway, I'm cleaning up the solenoid with brake cleaner. That's one uh, mating surface that's got to be clean. This is where the fuel solenoid mounts onto the back of the pump. You don't want to spray brake cleaner inside the pump, so I just use a rag wet with brake cleaner to clean the mating surface up. You need to get the surface clean and shiny like this one. This is why you don't use sealant or gasket maker on these things and you go buy a new gasket, because if it had that all over there, it would be a pain in the ass to clean out. This is the part number for the gasket you need. You can try and mount the solenoid back on with a new gasket just as it is but it's a bit hard trying to get your hands around the back of the pump and like I said you don't want to damage the gasket so what I do is I use a stud and I usually just make one out of a quarter inch bolt and I'll just cut the head off it. It's about that long. You only need in a few threads to start you up. So your stud goes in one of those two holes. I usually use the bottom one, it's a lot easier I find. And I've only screwed that in probably three threads, you don't need much. And then take your other bolt and put it through the top hole of your solenoid and put the gasket on as well and feed that through. So that'll hold your gasket in place while you feed it on. And then you just line it up and push it on. There's zero resistance doing this. You shouldn't feel anything binding or pushing back at you. If that's happening, stop and pull it out and have a look. Something's gone wrong. And once you've got it close, you can start your top bolt and just check your gaskets in place. Everything looks good there, so we can wind our stud out now and install our bottom bolt. We can go ahead and tighten up our bolts now. I do them top and bottom bit by bit, just so it pulls the gasket on flat. And I tighten up a quarter inch bolt to nine newton meters. And that's the job completed. As you can see, it's a pretty cruisy job, so there's no reason to put up with a horrid oil mess behind your fuel pump. I don't know if you've noticed at the start, but around where the throttle cable goes, there's an oil leak there as well. 
I'm going to do another video on how to replace that because that's another one where they leak through commonly but it's actually quite an easy fix. If you like this video guys, click and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Cheers.